Hey, yesterday, I went the entire day without realizing I had another pair of my underwear in my pant leg. <laughs> and now I realize I'm completely okay with the idea of self-driving cars. If I couldn't detect half a pound of cotton slithering around my legs, pretty sure a Tesla's gonna know to hit the brakes before I will. <laughs> my reaction time was nine hours. <laughs> But the most selfish thing that a human being can possibly do is leave an empty shopping cart in a parking space. <laughs> I just hate what that says about people, right? You're telling me you can meander for two and a half miles inside Costco pushing that thing? <laughs> and the moment you get to your vehicle, you're like, not another step. <laughs> That's why I don't even care anymore. You guys can try this too. Every time I'm inside a grocery store, I take someone else's cart. <laughs> Try it, full of food, take it, it's much faster. <laughs> and you get to try new things. <laughs> you can do that, it isn't wrong. <laughs> it's not stealing. What could they possibly even say to you? Excuse me, I gathered that. <laughs> Just say thanks, so you can regather, you know the route. That's how I found out that I like hummus. You know what else is not stealing? Putting an extra bike lock on a stranger's bike. It's pretty crazy that bike locks are legal. Do you have any idea the amount of power you wield with your imagination in a bike lock? There are so many possibilities. You could just walk past the Baskin Robbins and be like, mm, you're closed. <laughs> so arbitrary what we need permission to buy and what we don't. You have to show photo ID in a hobby shop to get paint. <laughs> Yet all of us are just one Amazon click away from buying orange cones and making traffic go wherever we want. <laughs> I have a landline telephone. I didn't buy it, it just came with the tiny house that I rent in LA. I was talking to my neighbor in our front yards recently. This guy's nosy, some of us have that neighbor. This guy's open about it though, it's uncomfortable. He very casually threw this in, into the dialogue. Hey Kellen, the other day I picked up part of a conversation from your cordless phone through my baby monitor. <laughs> Yeah, that's a real thing that can happen. I didn't know. I also didn't know how to respond to him. He's just smiling like a weirdo. <laughs> so I said, actually, I don't have a cordless phone. Oh, but occasionally I do stand in your baby's room and talk to him. <laughs> that's probably what that was. Anything else? No? Okay. <laughs> This guy was telling me about that movie, The Revenant. I haven't seen it, I probably will. I just didn't agree with his reason for encouraging me to watch it. He said, you've gotta see it for Leonardo DiCaprio. I think it's great he finally won an Oscar for that movie, because he worked really hard on it. They shot it for nine months in the blistering cold. He walked through those rivers himself. He lost 35 pounds during those nine months. Isn't that amazing? And I said, if you think that's amazing, you severely underestimate what I would do for $20 million. <laughs> that makes no sense. There's not a person here who wouldn't do everything he had to <laughs> for that paycheck, right? Look, if he acted well, great. Give him the Oscar for that reason. But not just because he worked for almost a year. <laughs> $20 million, he lost 35 pounds, I would get down to 35 pounds. <laughs>